Bye. Last time we'd like to meet the Indians roster. Oh, All right. Number one, Emily Beatty. Emily Beatty. Bye. Bye, Number Riker. Two, oh. Kelly Sarbo. Number three, Kelly Sarbo. Taylor Haywood. Taylor Haywood. Number four, Mackenzie Carpenter. Mackenzie Carpenter. Number five, Mairead Lawless. Uh, Lawless. Number six, Emma Rabideau. Rabideau. Number seven, Amy Darst. Darst. Number eight, Torrance Shipman. Shipman. Number nine, Mackenzie Marino. Marino. Number 10, Hallie LeDuc. LeDuc. Number 11, Riker. Teresa Emer. <laughs> Number 13, Alista LaBombard. <laughs> Number 14, Allison Post. Number 15, Christy Robert. Number 17, Carolyn Denchek. Number 19, Sydney Mills. Number 20, Dakota Musso. Number 21, Trinity Carter. Number 22, Allie Beatty. Number 23, Kaylee Jackson. And number 24, Olivia Garvey. The Indians are coached by Amy Chase and Scott Carpenter. And now for your Beekman Town Eagles. Number one, Kelsey Baker. Number two, Alyssa Waters. Number four, Jenna Trombley. Number five, Emma Beach. Number six, Leah Casey. Number seven, Danielle Dyke. Number eight, Raylene Wanook. Number nine, Avery Durgan. Number 10, Riley Bissett. Number 12, Maya Ledoux. Number 13, Kirsten Villamere. Number 14, Hallie Hurwitz. Number 15, Madison Petro. Number 17, Olivia Scott. Number 22, Anna Draco. And number 23, Avery Scott. The videographers are Jay Barcombe. The Eagles are coached by Pete Bursick, Julie King, and Ashley Terry. The officials for today's game, Mr. Dickinson, Mr. Lacey, and Mr. Lambert. And now, if everyone could please rise, as Beekman Town senior Alyssa Waters sings our national anthem. Yeah. 
Round of applause for Beekman Town senior Alyssa Waters. Calvin Castine at Beekman Town Recreation Park. It's the 12th day of October 2017. I think this is the day that used to be Columbus Day, but now we celebrate it on the on the Monday. But uh, my old memory serves me right. It's uh, Used to be October 12th. It's Northern Soccer League throw the ball away. What's the problem? There we go. Blue throw. Uh, Northern Soccer League Division One play. Peru Indians visiting Beekman Town. This is the uh, end of the season here. That's why they got the they put the autumn colors out there, so we'd know it's the end of the season. And when we leave here, we'll be heading for Shazy. Uh, Seton Catholic is there for a six o'clock game, so we're hoping that uh, their halftime senior night activities don't uh, get too long-winded. And uh, that's, by the way, Steve Chris on the PA does a nice job with the public address system here. That is, I think, Dyke. I'm trying to remember here. It's been a while since I've recorded Beatman Town. I recorded uh, Peru earlier in the year, but they brought up a couple of uh, JV players. So if I hadn't asked for an up-to-date roster, I'd been wondering who uh, who's that. Because I'm usually wondering who's that anyway. Temperature looks very nice out here. It's a comfortable 60 degrees, but after the weather we've had this uh, autumn, uh, ooh, late summer, it's uh, on the low side. One of the cooler days we've had, and it's still around 60 degrees. So, Been an outstanding September, October, and nobody that can. I talked to and ever recall an entire soccer season going like this year did. Our officials, as you may have heard, are Mr. Dickinson, Lacey, and Lambert. TL, TL, and JD. Let's see, we got 23. Is that Jackson just up from the JVs? Her grandmother who will remain an anonymous <laughs> just told me she's awesome. So I'll we'll have to watch her. See if she can live up to that awesomeness. White charge, blue direct. What do we got here? I think we're the four. Fourteen. Allison Post, oh, one hopper to Baker. And Bill Mayer will throw it in. Right into 30-year-old Shazy graduate 30 years ago, <laughs> not 30 years old, 30 years ago Shazy graduate, Larry LaFave. As I was uh, unpacking my gear, all the way up from Washington, D.C. area, to, I see that stuff going on with the, uh, at Shazy tomorrow. But she came up, and while she was in the area, she, uh, Told the Villamares, or former schoolmates, Blair Villamare and uh, the former Kim Bourgeois, that uh, she'd come see their daughter play. But since Lori was a goalie, she's probably going to be rooting for the goalie when, uh, when Kirsten takes a shot. It's like a pitcher watching a ball game, rooting for the pitcher. And, out of the, the guys at the, at the plate. 
Whoa. Set by uh, Musso. And here's a punt. Okay. The varsity boys are here. Coach Lucy just said hello. Well, I may move down a bit, give them a little elbow room and talking room. We relocated the blue throw. Balls at the 18. Last time the hometown cable camera was here, it was the grainy cam who came to capture uh, Villa Mayor's 100th high school goal. She's added a bunch of those since then. White throw, we're gonna move down just a step here so we can see entirely down that line. Just that trying to get a feed on it. I want to thank the uh, Villa Mayors and uh, the Facettes for supporting Hometown Cable and Laura Lafave too, all the way from Washington, D.C. She's a Hometown Cable supporter. She gets to see our programming via the internet and uh, Appreciates what she sees, and uh, of course we uh, have a library of 20,000, and she's in a few dozen of those in her high school days. It's a blue throw, number 21, who's that? It's Carter, Trinity Carter. Battling with, uh, what's it, number four? Here's uh, Villamare. I'll tell you who number four was in the middle. In a minute, a moment here is Carpenter. Carl in against Villamare. Back in play and kicked out of bounds. There's the crowd. Battling for it, kicked out by number five, Beach. Blue throw, that's Jackson. LaDuke will take the corner. Beach will take the Beach will take the free kick. A high uh, low kick. And Baker out to get it. We're at uh, 29.52, so we're a little over 10 minutes into the first half, still scoreless. Three officials are getting ready for the playoffs. So, when they do this in a regular season in league contest, uh, refs are split.
splitting uh, two two uh, paychecks three ways. Ooh, uh, off the top of the forehead. Waters keeps it going and gets by uh, Jackson, but out of bounds. Draper and Tatro report in for the Eagles. Set sends it up the wing. Waters. That ball got further ahead than I thought it was. Another white throw. Waters. The national anthem singer. Alyssa Waters. Dyke with the throw. She keeps it in and keeps the ball. Good hustle. Darst and Marino report in for Peru. There you go. Jackson with the throw. Reach for that one. Nice stop by Baker on a nice shot. That sends it up. And it's picked up by Musso. Uh, lost the ball again. It's a lot easier on a and a booth elevated to keep track of the ball. Little man on the wing, keep it in. That might be completely out. On the line is not out. Jenna Trombley over for the corner kick. Low one. I think the Indians are under orders. <laughs> if you bump into a Villamar, hit the hit the ground. Checking back in for the Lady Indians, number ten, Callie Leduc. Another Jackson throw. Hey, 
Casey and Scott report in for Beekman Town. Durgan with the throw. just came in. And Tom Lee will take it. Well, now catches up with it. And another goal kick. He goes bring it right back. Here go kick. Musso. Eagle throw that was 17 Scott didn't keep Scott. Indians cleared up midfield. Eagles will attempt to bring it back. Lamar with a nice ball. Nobody there for Beacon Town, so it's handled easily by Musso. for Peru. Jackson with a throw. Casey and uh, Hobbits, 14. Thrown in by Casey. Sends up by Trombley. Where'd it go? Catches up with it. Less than eighteen to go in the second half. It'll be a free kick for the Eagles. Wood reports back in for the Indians. Hmm. 
set, kicks it forward. Take the kick. We're under 15 to go in the first half. Still scores. I think uh, once the first goal gets in, the scoring will pick up. It's Durgan. Waters, Dyke, and Scott, Sydney Mills, and Mills for the Indians. Waters, Dyke, and Scott for the Eagles. What's that? It sends it into the corner. Eagle throw. Like Villamare. Yeah. Is that with it? Yeah. And grabbed by Musso. That was, uh, I believe, Darst was trying to bother Fassett on that one. About 11 and a half to go in the first half. Still scoreless. White throw. 
it makes it worse because it's cold out. Yeah. Oh, let's do it again. to the left of Waters. White throw. Approaching the 10 minute mark. Musso couldn't quite keep the ball in play. The set, the scored. We'll find out soon enough. Set for the Villa Mayor took the corner. Check it in for the Indians in the Keep the town goal. Scored by number 10, Riley Fassette. Assisted by number 13, Kirsten Villa Mayor. Alright. The set from Villa Mayor. The goal was scored at 30 minutes. 14 seconds. That's Riley Fassette from Kirsten Bonaire at 30-14 of the first half. They're saying blue ball. Slow to get up. Free kick for the Eagles. Looks like Villamar will I'll take it. So let's it go out. So it'll be a goal kick. And it's a post. So it takes Seems to be taking all the goal kicks. White throw. Under seven left in the second, in the first half, excuse me, in the first half. throw. Waters. Yeah. 
Welcome to the Lemaire. And well. Alright, to Musso from Villamere. Less than five to go in the first half. This is Dyke crossing it. Sabo, Garvey, and Durgan report in. Durgan for the Eagles. Under four. Under four to go for staff. forward. Elmore Harris ends it up into the box. Like he's trying to get control. Now Durgan's there. And approaching the two minute mark. Indians would love to knock this one up for the halftime. And Darst back in for Peru, the blue throw. Baker, short hops it. Calling against the Eagles. One minute remaining in the first half. That was taken down. 40 seconds. Or she went down. <laughs> you never know. The 
Delamere helping to double that eagle score. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's half time. Home team, Beekman Town, the score, leading the visitors. One, the Indians, no score. They're watching viewer-supported local television, hometown cable. We are entering the Beekman Town Lady Eagles five seniors and also Peru's four seniors. First, we'd like to recognize the four seniors from the Lady Indians. Number five, Mairead Lewis. <laughs> Number 11, Teresa Emmer. <laughs> Injured in my here today, number 13, Calista Lebempo. Thank you, thank you, Pastor. Congratulations. Congratulations. And number 21, Trinity Carter. Congratulations to the four Indian seniors and good luck in your future endeavors. And now, We'd like to honor the Lady Eagles seniors. This is from Coach Persick. We would like to thank each of the five seniors. It has been a pleasure and a privilege to coach each of you. Through their hard work and dedication, these five Beekman Town seniors, in one way or another, have helped Beekman Town to 86 wins, eight losses and four ties, and three sectional titles in the last five years. That in itself is a great accomplishment. Congratulations and good luck in your future endeavors. Our first senior has been in our program for six years. Two years at the varsity level. Last year she had a serious knee injury and didn't know whether she would be able to play this year. Through her hard work in the off season, she was able to make it back to the field this year and become an important part of our defense. She works very hard and is a great teammate. She is the daughter of Paul and Jackie Wernick. This honor goes to number eight, Raleen Wernick. senior has been in our program for six years. Two years at the varsity level. She has played multiple positions this year. She works hard every day in practice. She has been a pleasure to coach even when she doesn't smile. She is the daughter of Joe and Andrea Ledoux. This honor goes to number 12, Maya Ledoux. This senior has been in our program for six years, two years at the varsity level. She has a 29-3 record playing goalie on varsity. She has 18 career shutouts, 206 career saves. She has worked hard to improve each year. She is the daughter of Kim and Jason Baker, the sister of Kobe and Tyler Baker, and her mom is Sheila Facto. This honor goes to number one, Casey Baker.
this senior has been in our program for six years, three years at the varsity level. She was voted captain by her teammates this year. She has 23 career goals and 20 career assists. She also works very hard every day and is a leader and a great teammate. She's also a star on the basketball team. I had to throw that in there. She is the daughter of Greg and Christine Waters. This honor goes to number two and a good singer, Alyssa Waters. This senior has been in our program for six years. She's been a varsity member for all six seasons and a three-year captain. This year, she became the all-time leading scorer at Beekman Town Central School with 112 goals and 72 assists. So far. She has worked hard at each of the off-seasons as well to improve on her skills. She is the daughter of Brian King Hillenair. This honor goes to number 13. Kristen Villanelle. <laughs> Coach Bursick and the seniors would like to thank the parents for the continued support and generosity throughout the varsity career. The team dinners, the senior night, and your continued support for our program throughout the years is next to none. Thanks again to everyone, and thanks again to the Purdue Indians soccer team for honoring our seniors today. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you. All right. Congratulations. We're set for the second half here of this game between the Leakman Down Eagles and the Peru Indians. Last home game of the season and most likely the last uh, league game of the season for both teams. It's 1-0. We've uh, got a 6 o'clock game in Shazy. It's 5-0-3 right now. Should this game get to a, uh, one team has a three goal lead over the others and there's 15 minutes or less to go, I can leave my options open about uh, heading for Shay Z. Kept it out. It was just barely on the line, has to cross the line to be out, so just barely got there. Otherwise, it would have been a corner instead of a punt. White throw. Waters with the throw. Last night was senior night for the Northeastern Clinton Boys. We asked the granny cam to cover it. I made the mistake of thinking that it was a halftime event. But it was a before the game event. And the granny cam got there just as it was coming to an end. So we missed it. We have, uh, we're here because of viewer support from the Villamara family. And, uh, that family also supports us, but they don't have a senior. The Villamares have a senior, they're fine viewer supporters, so we're here for them. And the rest of you can thank them for us being here. And uh, Hollisters are good supporters of Hometown Cable at Northeastern, and we want to at least get the senior portion covered, but unfortunately, I goofed up. And it almost makes me feel bad because these senior events take place only once. <laughs> the 
Yeah. You go throw. There's Jackson trying to clear it. That and whoa, push there. Yeah, yeah. Haywood. And so we'll pick it up. Play with the punt. He goes on the attack. This is Villamir. With the through ball in, it's kicked out. Number uh, five, Lawless. Cassette will take the throw to Duggan at the corner. Post will take the kick. Three ball. Called offside. Called offside by Mr. Dixon. Dickinson. It's his job. <laughs> Villanueva carries it up. There'll be no offside this time. This is Dyke. White throw. Set. Another eagle throw. To throw it, but just at least said no. Casey reports in for Beekman Town. We're seven minutes into the second half. One nothing Beekman Town over Peru. All that noise you hear in the back, they're building some kind of a barn shed type of thing here at the uh, rec park. I'm not sure what it is. Big as a hay barn. So Musa makes a stop. Oh, that looks like uh, Lambert on that side. Like Todd moved to that side. Todd, Todd Dickinson was over there, but Todd Lambert. Blue. 
blues Jackson again. Live for the Indians. It's gonna be a blue throw. Up to take it. We're approaching the 10 minute mark as far as time in, 30 minute mark, time left. Handball. and beat me down leading Peru 12th day of October 2017 Control, so she kicks it on the sideline. Is it a throw or a goal kick? It's a throw. Take it away. Side, uh, the offside. Oh, 
Check it in for Peru. Oh, Marino. Drapo and Tetro in for their respective teams. Blue throw. 21, who's that? Uh, Carter. Uh, Baker will grab that one. Well, 25 to go in the second half. Still one nothing. Peru bounce. <laughs> Blue throw. And free kick. It's post taking it. Gonna knot this one up. Over the top. We'll let you in on a little secret. It's better to come up a little short on those than a little long, because uh, every long one is out of play. Every short one is should be still in play. Was 22. It was uh, Drapo. But back in play, one hopper to Musso. Under 23 left in the second half. Still one nothing. Cross to the six. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No control, apparently. Duggan slow to get up. Scott with the throw. So Scott in. No, didn't really see who threw it. Right to Musso. Three is Haywood. And this is Jackson. Under 21 to go. Jackson with a throw. Thank 
So we're approaching the two minute mark. Way down. Excuse me, two minute, 20 minute mark, not the two minute mark. <laughs> 20 minute mark, halfway through the second half. The waters. second half. Blue throw. Whatever the call was, the one against Peru. John Blue, who is it? No, it's... Uh, Casey. Oh, there. Takes it away. Jackson. Oh, I would have let it go out. Oh, there. Is, uh, I didn't get 112 goals and 73 assists for letting a ball go out. Under 17 to go in the second half. Reedy chases it out, but it's eagle ball thrown in by Hurwitz. So we'll wait for it. Under 16 to go in the second half. Here comes Villamare. Here comes Villamare. Hit the side of the net. Post. Oh, 
Foul goes against the Eagles. Close to take the kick. Approaching the 14 minute mark. Teams are keeping it close so they can't leave. Is that wide? Jackson will throw Waters and Emer back in as we approach the 13 minute mark. And Jackson will take it again. Draper back in for the Eagles. to go. Leduc in for Peru. Jackson with the throw. The goal kick. Bounces into the hands of Baker. Under 10 to go in regulation. Throw. Waters. And Jackson will take it. And he take it back. Grabbed by Baker. Approaching eight and a half to go. It's 
threw it way back in. Had a good shot off. So she's hurting, huh? That was uh, Carter tippy towing, white throw. Blue throw, less than seven and a half to go in regulation. Jackson, I think. Yeah, well, it was Jackson. He just want to keep the pressure on. And he just want to clear it. Another shot to Baker, keeping her busy. Under six and a half to go. Nothing else proves showing that they're going to be there in the playoffs. throw. Reminder, viewer supported local television. Need everyone's support and we're sure not getting it. throw. Jackson will take it. Here, approaching the five minute mark. Five minutes. Told you. Oh, down cleared out by Trombley. That was shot in by Haywood. And this uh, comes out. Mm -hmm. Bops it down the field. Dyke. Kick up by post. Blue throw. Beatman Town throw set. Handball was called with less than four to go in the second half. The set will take it. Booted out by Carpenter. Blue throw. Beauty. Three minutes to go. Well, the Eagles, number six, Leah Casey, number 17, Olivia Scott. That's the eight. It's a one up. One up. With the troll. Now for set.
we throw. And we're approaching the two minute mark. Two minutes remaining in the half. Two minutes. Whoa! Push was called. The site officials don't have whistles, so they can raise their flag. Well, the push was called. Minute 20 to go. Blue throw. Jackson will take it as we approach the one minute mark. One minute remaining in the half. One minute. Little Mary carrying it down. Off the road, 40 seconds. Right here. 30. Just that will take it. So, uh, they're going to kick it out, and that's going to just about wrap it up. We're going to start our goodbyes, and you're watching viewer supported local television hometown cable win lose or draw tv worthy of Nine. your support hey, if you appreciate hometown Seven. cable we Six. really need to hear from Nine. you so we continue Four. to do this otherwise Three. it just won't be done Four. meantime Four. thank you for watching